I'm Alex Neve, the Secretary General of Amnesty International Canada, and I'm about to leave for an Amnesty International research mission to the troubled, volatile border region between Sudan and the newly independent country of South Sudan. South Sudan gained its independence recently, and that came after years, decades in fact, of a terrible, bitter civil war which at various points in times really constituted the most pressing humanitarian crisis in the world. I think a lot of people hoped, expected, dreamed that independence for South Sudan was going to mark an end to that troubling, horrific human rights story. But what has happened over the last year has been a human rights crisis once again. Because now in the southern parts of Sudan, what is left of Sudan, the Sudanese government is continuing a lot of the same human rights violations and violence that marked the terrible years of war and conflict between Sudan and South Sudan for so long. And Amnesty International will be there to document what has been happening in those southern reaches of Sudan, right along the border with the new country of South Sudan. It has been a time of aerial bombardment uh, for thousands and thousands of civilians who have been killed, who have been forced to flee their homes. Tens of thousands have fled across the border into South Sudan and are now living in very difficult, dangerous refugee camps, uncertain of their future, uncertain of whether or not they're even going to be able to return home. It is a situation that in some respects reminds us of the terrible crisis that happened in Sudan's western regions, in Darfur, uh, throughout this past decade. A lot of the same human rights concerns, militia groups, aerial bombardment, people being chased from their villages. We cannot allow this to happen again. And that is why it is so important for Amnesty International to be there, to document what is happening, to hear directly from individuals who have suffered such terrible loss, and to make sure we are able to put those concerns in front of the governments in the region, in front of the international community, in front of you. Because we need to act. We need to make sure that this human rights crisis comes to an end and that the people who have suffered such terrible abuses receive the justice that is their due.